Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. Today's episode, I wanna take you through the first part of my tank upgrade. Although I've already got the stand, you can't really have a tank upgrade without a tank. All right, so hopefully you've been following along and you know that uh, my main display is getting shut down and I've been working and saving and uh, planning and scheming for this tank upgrade for a fair while now. My main display is just about coming up to seven years of age and um, I'm chomping at the bit to do this upgrade. And I call it an upgrade because um, it's only marginally bigger, but I want to... Uh, reinvent and repurpose almost every aspect of this tank to be my dream build setup. So I guess you can't really get far into a tank upgrade without the tank itself. And whilst we've already got the stand, the next uh, logical step was to work out the tank. Actually, I've already got the stand and I've already got the overflow, but uh, the next logical step was to work out the tank and then everything else will then fall around it. So thankfully, I know at least in Australia, we are absolutely spoilt for choices on um, the tank options we've got available to us, both uh, locally made, we've got some incredible things made. Uh, my current tank's been built by Starfire Aquatics in Melbourne, and it is an absolute, uh, well, excuse the pun, but it is a tank. It's um, withstood the test of time. Um, it's withstood quite a few water spills, uh, me leaning on it. I've got a huge uh, crown with a lot of weight of lights and everything sitting on top of it. It's it's absolutely weathered the storm. The glass has been very, very clear. It's got no, next to no scratches in it. So despite being clear, the glass is still very hard. Um, it's really stood the test of time and it has been a very good quality tank. Um, Outside of locally built things, um, we've got, a, I say outside of locally built, we've got Cade, which is kind of, um, has, a, has its roots in Melbourne, but is made overseas. And I've um, been fortunate enough to be involved with quite a few custom Cade tanks. Um, they are absolutely incredible quality. The glass is beautiful. The um, silicon work they do is second to none. And uh, everyone loves that little logo uh, laser engraved in the glass. It's a pretty cool setup. So you've got Cade options. Then you've got, um, all of the other players in the market where you've got uh, your Red Seas, you've got your Fire Aquas, you've got your Water Box, the list kind of goes on and on. All right, so you can see just within a few seconds, there's um, we've rattled off a number of companies that'll make an absolutely incredible quality uh, tank for your next display. I've chosen to go with Waterbox. Um, I've done that for a number of reasons. First and foremost, the quality of their tanks I've been super impressed with. I run a uh, Waterbox 20, just as the Idiot Proof Reef tank. Uh, it's very well built. The glass is nice and clear. The silicon is almost impossible to see. It really is just a very nice quality tank. I've had a good look at around at a number of Waterbox tanks and I'm really, really happy with the quality of them. Secondly, I work quite closely with the Australian distributor of Waterbox. Uh, we worked together on uh, the show in Australia called Underwater Pet Expo. So it obviously works out well that um, I can get a Waterbox tank here and uh, help him promote Waterbox in Australia, which, um, you know, if it, if it helps a friend of mine, why not? But most importantly is the quality of that tank. Obviously, I'm not gonna uh, run like a, a, an ugly plywood tank or something on there just because it's a, um, a buddy of mine makes it, nothing like that at all. The quality of Waterbox is fantastic. And um, I must admit, despite um, uh, David Mai just released his video uh, not long ago of his um, custom built Waterbox tank, which should have opened people's eyes up to the possibility that Waterbox can custom build your tanks. I was surprised to see how many people were like, I didn't know that Waterbox can custom build tanks. So hopefully this tank will help sell that message even further that Waterbox will custom make you a tank to whatever dimensions you want. So that's where we started off, I guess. I went down to my local uh, fish shop. We we're talking about the different options for tanks. He said, what about water box? And I said, sounds like a good idea. We talked about what uh, size I'd want. Obviously, uh, we've already got the stand. We've already worked out the size. So I wanna go 2100 uh, millimeters long, 900 millimeters uh, deep, and 750 millimeters tall. That's the dimensions of my tank. I've already got my uh, overflow set up, so we know the drill pattern for that. The last sort of details were really just around um, where we want the return holes to be put, um, what size glass because of the height, the bracing. And um, we had a little bit of back and forth because I really wanted to on this tank avoid having a center brace. I have a center brace in my current tank and it's an absolute pain. On the same hand, I did not want to go braceless. I don't like open top tanks and I know Waterbox specialize in that. 
but I wanted a, a, I wanted a brace and a rim around there. Plus, when we're talking 750 mil tall, we're getting quite tall and it's already 19 mil glass. So if you start going um, any thicker than that, you're gonna run into a little bit of trouble with some of the options you have with uh, magnets and, and um, uh, just mounting power heads and stuff like that. So 19 mil glass was as thick as I wanted to go. Plus it costs a fortune and weighs a ton. So 19 mil glass was our limiting factor there. We managed to get the brace in a way so that there's um, no, oh, sorry, yeah, the top bracing so that there's no center brace. It's gonna be a beautiful one piece Euro brace. And uh, the rest was fairly basic. We went for a uh, tinted black glass rear wall with black film on the back of that. The idea is, is that will give it this really nice depth. The tinted black, you can still see through, but then there'll be the black wall, uh, the black vinyl on the back of that. So it'll give this really nice depth that'll just sort of fade off. And it also tends to be a little less, a um, little less reflective than uh, just the clear glass with black vinyl on the back. So that's been recommended by my local fish shop as the ultimate uh, look. We'll have to see how it looks in person. Um, I, I trust Dave explicitly. So David Deer Park Aquarium told me to go the tinted glass with the uh, black back. And then we've opted for a uh, vinyl, a white vinyl base, just so that uh, should the sand move around or whatever, it still blocks it out. You're not looking down into the sump or anything like that. So I've got a couple of pictures of, um, uh, of the uh, the back and forth that we had with the uh, designers to get the tank the way we wanted. And I've got a couple pictures of the uh, tank just after it's been glued um, and it's uh, not far off. So we're talking a, a another month and a bit away for this tank to hit Australia, which is uh, not long at all. I've got to uh, pull my thumb out and get working on uh, bringing my current tank down, getting these uh, home renovations done so that we can get this new tank in place. All right, now the next question that I'm sure everyone's gonna want to know is the price. What does a custom water box this big, we're talking approximately seven feet long by two and a half feet, uh, oh, sorry, by three feet by uh, almost two and a half feet tall. It's a big tank made out of 19 mil glass, um, one piece uh, Euro brace, drilling in customized spots quite a few uh, custom pieces to it from a company as highly regarded as Waterbox, that's gonna cost a fortune. Now, this is one part that I was most pleasantly surprised with, which was the price. Despite all of my uh, custom requirements and um, the sizing of this tank, it came in at $4,000 Australian, which, um, it blew my mind actually, it was quite good value um, when you consider that that's about what my stand cost me and probably less than a lot of the other components in my tank are gonna cost me. Um, when most people think as the glass box being the most expensive part. So I'm pleasantly surprised. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I've got a couple of sneak pictures of uh, this tank in the factory after it's just been glued. It's gonna sit there for, I think it's a, a few weeks uh, to make sure the glue completely sets or the silicon. Then it can be shipped out here and uh, we'll get our eyes on it as soon as it lands in Australia. But um, if you have any comments or questions about the tank or things you'd change in the design, pop it in the comments section down below. As always, if you've liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not done so yet, please consider subscribing because um, I've obviously got a whole heap more updates to come with this new tank upgrade and I don't want you to miss any of them. So if you subscribe, it'll make sure you won't miss out on any future videos. Hit the subscribe button, that little bell notification and that way you'll get told every time I release a video um, and you won't miss out anything on this upgrade. So that's about all I've got time for today, guys. I just wanted to give you a quick update to let you know the tank has been chosen. Waterbox is the company providing it. It is made and glued. It's just waiting for that to dry and then it'll be shipped out here. Till next time, guys. Stay safe, keep reefing. Cheers, bye.